I'm standing in front of a five-story concrete building at the University of California, San Diego's Jacobs College School of Engineering. This building here has been constructed atop a massive hydraulic shake table. In 2012, this building will undergo a series of seismic earthquake shake tests, plus post-earthquake fire testing. Armstrong is proud to be a part of this project. It's testing like this that brings forth products like Seismic RX, which contribute to building safety. The Seismic RX system is a code compliant alternative to IBC requirements that revolutionizes the construction of Seismic C or DEF ceiling installations. Sit back for the next few minutes and learn about Seismic RX. Your next seismic installation just got a whole lot easier. Seismic RX is approved for use in all 50 states as it meets the requirements of the International Building Code. ICCES Report ESR 1308 recognizes Seismic RX as a code compliant solution to conventional IBC requirements. In seismic DEF areas, Seismic RX replaces 2 inch wall angle with 7 8 wall angle, eliminates stabilizer bars, plus seismic separation joints are much easier to install and not noticeable. In seismic C areas, eliminate stabilizer bars, plus grid can be cut tight on two adjoining walls, which is much easier to square. Seismic RX works with our most popular grid systems that I have listed here. In categories DEF, IBC requires unsightly 2-inch angle with perimeter tees attached on two walls and unattached on two adjacent walls with 3 quarter inch clearances. Stabilizer bars are also required. In DEF installations, the Seismic RX Burke 2 clip eliminates 2-inch wall angle and stabilizer bars. Here in this tabletop mock-up, you will see the Burke 2 clip installed on 7 8 inch wall angle. For your two fixed walls, a screw in this round hole location locks the T into place. With Seismic RX and DEF installations, all perimeter T's will still require perimeter wires within 8 inches of the wall. Now, for your two adjacent float walls, secure Burke 2 clips but screw through the elongated slot in the Burke which will ensure that the T's can move in a seismic event. Make sure the screw isn't too tight though. These T's must be cut 3 quarters of an inch loose. In seismic C areas, IBC requires all perimeter T's to be unattached and have 3 8 inch clearance. This plus the required stabilizer bars makes squaring the grid very difficult. Seismic RX makes Seismic C simple. Grid on two adjoining walls can be cut tight with fixed Burke clips. The remaining two adjoining walls require 3 8 inch clearances and Burke clips. All stabilizer bars are eliminated as well. Seismic DEF requires unsightly and labor-intensive separation joints every 2,500 square feet. Seismic RX makes these easier and nearly invisible. At the 2,500 square foot mark, a break must occur in the main runners. After the grid and lateral force bracing has been installed wall to wall, cut 3 quarters of an inch out of the main runner splices as shown in this tabletop example. At this splice location across the break, we will install the Main Runner Seismic Joint Clip or item SJMR. You will notice the clip has been designed to line up with the existing forward riveted clip hole, which was once used to hold the clip on that you snipped off. A screw fits nicely through this pilot hole of sorts. When installed, this SJMR separation joint will give the grid system the required movement it needs in a seismic event. The included splice plate gives a nice clean look from the floor by covering up the break in the main runners. The holes in the other side of the clip 
are designed to mate up with the opposing main runner. Now, when breaking off 2,500 square foot modules in two directions for large installations, the SJC will manage the expansion that will be required at the cross T locations. Once again, you are ready for this only after your grid has been installed wall to wall with all lateral force bracing installed. This prevents any movement once the mains or T's are cut in the ceiling plane. Screwing through the clip slot, but not too tight, ensures adequate movement in a seismic event. All DEF lateral force bracing is installed per IBC recommendations as shown here.